Basic employability skills. We will be talking about opportunities in the construction industry. And after going through this section, you should be able to describe the construction business and the opportunities offered by the trades. And you should be able to explain how workers can either uh, enter the uh, construction workforce through various ways. Uh, this is a term called mission statement. Basically, that is something that the company would have. It's what the purpose of being in business is all about. So what is their mission? References is people who can confirm to a potential employer that you have the skills, experience, and work habits that are listed in your resume. So these are people that can back up what you put down. They can give you uh, to your employer, uh, future employer, information to make, help make a decision uh, to hire you. The construction business, there are many different trades that you can get into. And of course, this is a list and this is even more than that. Um, and each one of these have their own uh, specific uh, skills there's a lot of similarities because I put it this way, some of the similarities that we all have to show up on time. We all have to work a certain number of hours a week. However, the physical work that we do uh, can be very different. Of course, we all measure things. We all know how to use math to accomplish the things we have, but the physical task of doing things can be different, such as uh, uh, um, a mason and a pipe fitter. It's two completely different trades. One is dealing with uh, concrete and a mortar and things. The other one never touches it, You're dealing with pipes and so forth. So again, these are some of the different trades that uh, you can get into. Entering to the workforce, one of the things that you're going to need to learn how to do, and the great thing about Ivy Tech, we have um, departments that can help you with this. And this is putting together a resume. Coming right out of school, you may not have any work experience. That doesn't mean that uh, employer will not hire you, uh, when, especially when there's a demand for uh, workers because of uh, increase of Construction jobs, they need workers and they will hire people with no experience, but they're willing to train. So the point is, is that they will hire you uh, if you are trainable. Uh, you uh, don't mind showing up early, not on time, but early, coming before the due time, showing up on the job, being there, get your tools, you're ready to go, you're a team worker, uh, team player that willing to um, work with others and to make sure the job get done correctly. But putting information down on a resume is important because the resume is what the employers see. They don't know who you are. They never saw you work before. They only can go by what you put on paper. They can check your work experience, your, ex your um, education, uh, any other information about yourself. Uh, if it was in the military, many times the military give um, employer a lot of information about a person because they know that they uh, probably discipline that they uh, if they've been in the military any time they know that they will show up on time they have great work ethics you say ask yourself these questions is the salary or wage enough for your needs what kind of benefits are offered will the work be challenging yet doable uh, with uh, your uh, your best effort. In other words, is that think about this: the things that you're looking for in a job. Uh, are you just selling for a job because somebody offered one, or is it uh, something that's below your experience or knowledge or requirements because you've been working in the field for a very long time? In other words, find something that matches you. Of course, getting started right out of school, you may not have any experience. And so, yes, maybe at that point you will um, take whatever's there and knowing that you're going to build some experience so you could take it someplace else. So, again, um, what kind of a reputation does a company have? Do you know other, any other people who have worked there? Find out something about the company. If they um, 
do they treat their employees right? Or are they just a fly by night that just throw things together just to take the money and keep on going? Um, does the company offer training opportunities uh, to be trained in uh, other things? Uh, in other words, uh, what is the culture of the company? Uh, culture of the company could be overbearing. In other words, they uh, nitpick everything. They um, micromanage. They uh, have you um, somebody watching over your shoulders all the time. Um, or the company that does, that really care for the employees, that they give you some freedom, but they do expect you to do the the, the right thing to get the job done. So again, there's every company have a certain culture that they strive to be. Okay, we've got some questions. The construction industry offers an abundance of opportunities for blue collar workers, but not for white collar workers. That's truly false because you can start as a blue collar working as a laborer, but you can end up being the owner of a business uh, in this industry. So it is false. A statement of how a company does business is it's is a vision statement, philosophy, mission statement, or resume. It is their mission statement. The vision statement and mission statement is similar. The mission statement is uh, how they going to reach the process of how they're going to reach what they do what they do their mission what they're what, why are they in business the vision statement is what they how they're going to get there in other words uh, one day they want to be the company the, the largest company in the united states that's a vision the mission is how you're going to get there how are they going to do it in other words is that we are uh, a hard working company that looks to develop employees. That's a mission, developing employees, um, going after certain types of construction jobs. In other words, being the best in residential construction or best in commercial or restaurant business or whatever the, the, the specialty that that company would do. That would be the, the mission. Which of these is a readable fund recommended to use on a resume and usually times new romans is the go-to the reason why um it's for academic writing and, uh, and is very readable and understandable so most papers in school you're going to find out going to be exactly that times new romans A person who can confirm to a potential employer that you have the skills, experience, and the work habits that are listed in your resume is a blank. And that's your reference. Your reference person. All of these are things you should consider before accepting a job offer except blank. Hmm. Yeah, one of these just doesn't make any sense. Job advancement, certainly you want to look for that. The company reputation, certainly you want to look for that. The salary, yes. Your certification doesn't, that's something that you already have. So you know, you're looking for that from the company.